Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to yet another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And hopefully your week so far, although it's only been a day or so, is going well. And here we are gathered again today to take a look at God's Word together. And I'm excited that you'll let me to unpack uh, this verse with you and uh, kind of explore it together. We are today on Second Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. And uh, we're going to take a look at what Paul had to say to this church that was really near and dear to him. And um, <clears throat> let, just a little background on this Thessalonian church. This, this church was going through a lot of, um, a lot of issues, uh, not internally, but externally. They, they were facing some uh, pushback from... from uh, religious people from government the, the, they faced a lot of persecution at times they faced some some stress and they faced some trouble and I want to talk to some people today that you might be facing some stress and you might be facing some trouble and I think that this verse has a lot to say to you look at this on the screen okay it says this in chapter 3 verse 3 says, but the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. So the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. So there's two promises there that you have when it comes to the difficulties and the, and the stress that you might be facing in your life today. Uh, number one, God is faithful to strengthen you. He He will give you, He'll give you the power and the strength that you need to be able to get through this. And that's that's really good news, especially if you are assuming that you have to muster up the strength on your own and you have to muster up the power on your own. Because let's be honest with ourselves, okay? A lot of times, some of the difficulties that we go through, they can really take a toll on us. It's really taxing on us, not only spiritually, okay? But it's also very taxing on us emotionally. It can be very taxing on us uh, mentally. Um, it, and <laughs> that could even affect our, our physical well-being, if we're honest here. And there's a lot to... There's a lot to this, this whole thing called stress and difficulty and crisis. And sometimes you wonder, okay, where in the world is my strength going to come from? And this verse, I believe, not only applies to the Thessalonian people, but I think it, only, it also, I should say, applies to us as well. There is a promise that God will give you the strength to be able to get through whatever it is you're going through. But the Lord doesn't stop there. Uh, not only does he provide you with the strength, but it also says that he will protect us from the evil one. Now, let's be honest, okay? The source of these troubles, and sometimes we try to associate our, um, our stress and our troubles and our crisis with a particular individual maybe a relative, maybe a boss, maybe somebody at school, maybe somebody that we're having uh, just a really difficult uh, uh, relationship with. And you know what? Ultimately, what's at work here, there's a spiritual thing going on where the enemy of our souls is trying to discourage us. And the enemy of our souls is trying to harm us and get us to revert spiritually. Uh, well, Jesus even said in John 10, 10, that the, the uh, enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's his agenda for your life. But then we have this promise that God will protect us from that. God is a shield. He's a shield. And God does not want you to be destroyed. God does not want you to be hurt. God does not want you to be defeated. That's not what the Lord does. The, the Lord very much wants to remind you that he's there to protect you and shield you from the attacks of the enemy. 
So today, if you're facing some stress in your life, man, I got great news for you. The Lord is faithful to give you the strength that you need and to be that protection that you need. And that's a great way to start our day. And I hope that blesses you, okay? Well, we love you. Thanks for joining me. And uh, live that out today. Walk that out, okay? Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.